You may see it as the perfect psychiatric disorder. After all, who would ever question an immaculate home? But as Ron Mizutani tells us in tonight's Elderhood Project for many seniors, the constant need to get rid of clutter is not always healthy. We've certainly seen our share of stories of homes cluttered by compulsive hoarding. There are many seniors who cannot discard items and live in cramped conditions with rooms filled to capacity and pathways barely wide enough to walk. And then there are those who are the complete opposite. It looks like a good idea, so it's often misunderstood and people are like, oh, they're just cleaning up and they're decluttering. But when we mean decluttering, like obsessive compulsive Spartanism is the term that's often used there's really nothing in the room. It is austere and it's problematic. People with this type of obsessive compulsive disorder hate clutter and junk and tend to throw or give away items that they feel clutter their life. When they have um, belongings or possessions in their home, they feel physically sick. I mean, it actually has a visceral response. They, they are uncomfortable with those things. So they buy them, use them and give them away buy them, use them, and throw them away. Because these are functional things, even appliances. Declutterers get rid of even appliances. And that can create tension in relationships. It, it is difficult for people who have a decluttering disorder to live with others. I mean, like, other people's belongings got to go, too. So what do you do if your loved one is coping with this? You can start with a conversation. I just suggest, hey, mom, you know, have you talked to your doctor about this? You know, um, why don't you go talk to your doctor about this? Because it looks like it's bothering you. It's important to do so. It could be a sign of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. As respectful as we can be is, is really key here because these are their memories. These are their lives. Um, it's so precious to them. So as respectful as we can be as the children, we, we're often very impatient. Like, just do it, Mom, or hurry up, Dad. But this calls for patience and respect. Patience, respect, and being sensitive to their space. For the Elderhood Project, I'm Ron Mizutani.